lip-puckering Pinot to silky smooth Sauvignon. Costco's got game, and a whole lot of lame when it comes to wine time. Here's what pops and what flops from Kirkland. Often referred to as the Green Bottle, Kirkland's signature Marlboro Sauvignon Blanc is one of the most popular wines for Costco shoppers. It's a reliable bet that feels like a steal for the price, which is usually around $10. The only downfall of this tasty white is that it tends to sell out fast once those green labels hit the floor. Some self-proclaimed obsessives even buy cases of the stuff to stock up at home. Oh, this one's good. What's it called again? White wine. The wine hails from South New Zealand, which is known for its light and fruity Sauvignon Blanc blends that go down smooth, especially in warm weather. Many reviews cite flavor notes of citrus fruits and fresh herbs, with a clean, light body. Other fans compare the flavor to Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc, which often retails for double the price. If you see this fan favorite on the shelves, bust out a tenner for a bottle of the best. Pinot Noir is usually bold, full-bodied, and meant to be enjoyed with rich, decadent food. But one bottle that just doesn't meet the mark is the Kirkland Signature Carneros Pinot Noir from Napa Valley. The wine has all the markings of a possible winner, especially since it's been aged in French oak barrels before bottling. But despite its fancy heritage, the flavor just doesn't come through. According to reviews, the taste is overly fruity and extremely light in body, which is atypical for the variety. Others cite the overwhelming smell and flavor of straight alcohol that doesn't let up, even after the wine gets a chance to breathe. It's probably a better option for cooking than drinking, since it lacks the robustness of a more palatable bottle. If you're going for a Kirkland Signature Red, consider the Rioja Reserva, a Spanish wine made from 100% Tempranillo grapes. This red also spends plenty of time aging in oak barrels before it's released, and thanks to those three years in waiting, the wine gets plenty of full and complex flavor. It's a slightly more savory red, but it's rounded out with notes of vanilla, baking spice, and licorice to add balance. It's like a god drinkable candle. This bottle typically goes for $8 to $12, even though it tastes like it could cost double the price. It's unbeatable for the price tag and flavor, especially for a Spanish red. Even if you're new to Rioja, this pick is a great way to get introduced. As Wine Searcher reviewed it, best $7.29 bottle of wine ever. Kirkland's Pinot Noir offerings are a hit or miss, and the Russian River Valley Pinot Noir definitely misses the mark. This is one of those wines with polarizing reviews. Most people either love or hate it, and this bottle's a lot sweeter than other varieties from the same region in Sonoma County, California. This red can be so sweet that it's almost syrupy, which can become overwhelmingly one note after a few sips. For just $12, it's not terrible, but there are plenty of better options for your next party that will have everyone happily sipping all night. Kirkland's signature Cote du Rhone Village is a tried-and-true cult favorite. As one fan posted to Reddit, I can tell you that us French expats never miss the Cote du Rhone Village release. This red is a blend of Syrah, Grenache, and Morvedre grapes that come from the esteemed wine region in the south of France. It's a full-body red that's very rich and dry, yet bursting with juicy flavors of cherries and red berries. Other notes like cinnamon and chocolate round out this tasty blend with plenty of depth. It's such a killer bottle for $10, it would be at home in anyone's Costco haul. Another controversial worst is the Frulli Grave Pinot Grigio, which has a core group of loyal defenders. This Italian white is a major bargain at $5 to $8 a bottle, but it isn't the best option at that price point by far. I like a full-bodied Italian. Reviewers point to other stores like Aldi and Trader Joe's that have their own in-house Pinot Grigio that easily beats out Costco's in flavor by a mile. The main issue with Kirkland stock is its high acidity, which masks the delicate floral flavors hidden underneath. But if you're looking for a cheap bottle of white to mix up a pitcher of sangria or just to get through the day, this one will do the job at a price that makes it a steal. Prosecco is the bubbly Italian cousin to French Champagne, and Kirkland's Asolo Prosecco is a bargain that goes beyond in the flavor department. This wine is floral and fruity, with a natural sweetness reminiscent of honey or apples, and it features just the right amount of fizz to keep it light. It's an extra dry sparkling wine that comes from the Veneto region of northern Italy, and for $8, who needs a celebration in order to pop a bottle for fun? It's great for drinking on its own or fizzing in a mimosa or bellini, since it's bubbly and light. Some reviews note that the Kirkland version tastes even better than other affordable sparkling brands like La Marca, which is usually sold with a higher price tag. Another Italian wine that won't be your best pick is the Kirkland Brunello di Montalcino. This red is made from 100% Sangiovese grapes and is aged in oak barrels for three years before it reaches the Costco shelves. This one features a pleasant dryness, with notes of red berries and sour cherries at the forefront. There's also a slight spiciness to round out the fruit, but even so, it just isn't as robust as you typically expect from the flavor profile. Some reviews even claim that the wine feels like it's been watered down. Oh, 
Nope, that's not the one we picked. The Brunello is also one of the pricier wines from the line at $20 a bottle, and the flavor just doesn't warrant the price point. One Costco shopper theorized that the higher-priced bottles of wine from Kirkland usually aren't the best representation of those regions, posting to Reddit, Keeping in mind the myriad of better wine options one has at that price point from less expensive regions, yeah, I don't think there will be many bad ones, but only a handful of really great ones. Another coveted release from the Southern Rhone Valley of France is the Chateauneuf de Pap. This bold red blend features a combination of Shiraz, Grenache, Morvedre, and Sanso grapes from the renowned winemaking region. It's an earthy blend that's rich and well-balanced, with just the right amount of sweetness and spice. Some standout notes include dark fruits like currants and blackberries, paired with a hint of pepper. Yes, it's another pricier option at about $20 a bottle, but most Costco fans think it's worth every penny. Maybe it's a sipper for special occasions, but it's still a bargain compared to high-end French reds that retail for upwards of $40 a bottle at a typical liquor store. Plus, the flavors of this red blend are unlike anything you'll find in the average Merlot or Pinot Noir. So here's your chance to explore dynamic old-world wine for a great price. Kirkland Signature's Prosecco may be a shining star in the line, but the Champagne Brut is one you can leave on the shelf. It's a bummer, because the idea of an affordable champagne sounds appealing to anyone who enjoys a little bubbly. But that doesn't mean you should suffer in the flavor department for the sake of a good deal. This sparkling wine comes from France, as is tradition, and features a blend of Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, and Pinot Meunier grapes. The champagne starts strong with fruity flavors of peaches and oranges, but those brighter notes quickly fade away to reveal an unpleasant aftertaste that's oddly sour and bitter. This comes from your mother's butt. This bottle is just not as tasty to sip on alone as the Prosecco is, but it might be more enjoyable mixed into a mimosa or other cocktail. At $20 a bottle, though, there are plenty of better sparkling options that boast a better balance of flavors. The Kirkland Signature Champagne Brut has had loyal followers in the past, but many reviews from people who had the wine recommended to them claim that it fell way below their expectations and wasn't worth the cash. A must-try red from the Kirkland Signature wine list is the Chianti Classico Reserva, which sells for a value of around $9 a bottle. That is, when you can find it on the shelves. This Italian wine is another made from the Sangiovese grapes, and it's aged for a minimum of 24 months, with at least three of those spent in the bottle in order to amp up the richness of the flavors. The wine is as deep red in color as it is dimensional in flavor, while still being easy enough to drink regularly. It's a great option to keep on hand for the average weeknight dinner, when you're looking to kick it up a notch and not break the bank. So you're just really open to all wines? I like the wine and not the label. This Chianti is loved for its notes of cherry, vanilla, oak, and leather that perfectly complement its dry and tannic mouthfeel. The blend is another great option for pairing with food, whether you've got steak on the grill or you're doing delivery pizza. One Vivino user wrote, At this price point, you'd be hard-pressed to find a better wine. Big surprise. Wish I bought more. The Kirkland Signature Cabernet Sauvignon is one that you'll almost always be able to find in the Costco wine aisle, but just because it's a widely available option doesn't mean it's worth dropping in your cart. The red wine isn't the worst of the worst, but most people don't like the version of the wine that's sold in a box. Even so, there are so many better red wines available at Costco for this price point. What do you think? I hate it. The Cabernet Sauvignon has the signature earthy and bold flavor profile you'd expect from the variety, but it isn't as rich or complex as you may have hoped the Californian wine would be. Costco usually unloads this variety for $8 a bottle, which sounds great on paper, but this one isn't a steal for its one-note flavor that gets old after a glass or two. Just be glad you didn't get a whole box of it. In the summer, when it's all about the poolside sippers and chilling on the beach, everyone from wine moms to wine snobs know that nothing beats rosé all day. That's also why, when Costco releases its Kirkland signature Côte de Provence rosé in the warmer months, it pretty much flies off the shelves. And at $10 a bottle, this rosé is a steal. Plus, unlike other bargain brands, it's not overly sweet. This bottle drinks very dry with a whole lot of zest, thanks to the perfect amount of acid. It's a blend of several grapes, including Grenache, Sanso, Syrah, Vermentino, Carignan, Uni Blanc, and Morvedra. This Kirkland signature tipple tastes just like summer in a stem glass. It features the bright flavors of fruit like peaches and lemons without a sugary aftertaste, meaning it's primed to quench your thirst on even the hottest of days. File this one under our Skip It list, the Sonoma County Chardonnay. It's light on your wallet at $7 a bottle, but let's be real, it barely even resembles an actual bottle of Chardonnay. The Costco version of this variation is acidic and sugary, rather than buttery and smooth. And to top it all off, it's got an unfortunate aftertaste. 
The flavor of straight alcohol is much more present than usual in this variety, especially for a light white wine that typically isn't known as being overly boozy. Costco advertises that the Chardonnay is positively bursting with fruit flavor, but the nuanced notes are tough to recognize even after a few sips. Really, it's hard to distinguish any flavors that feel fresh or natural coming from this blend. There are literally hundreds of varieties of Sonoma County Chardonnay worth trying, but this one just isn't one of them. As one Vivino user described it, not good, odd fuel flavors, tastes like cheap, fake wine. Cheers to those heroes who tried it, so the rest of us wouldn't have to.